Well, it's very good to be with you today for our midweek devotion. Uh, we're going to start this week by looking in Matthew's Gospel at encounters that people had with Jesus. And these are encounters are recorded for us so that we may see clearly who Jesus is and therefore understand for ourselves the difference that he can make in our lives today. And we're going to begin by looking at Matthew chapter 8 verses 1 to 4. I'm just going to read those for us. When Jesus came down from the mountain, a large crowd followed him. A man with leprosy came and knelt before him and said, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. I imagine I uh, came up to you today uh, coughing and sneezing and then, and then you noticed I was wearing these gloves or perhaps uh, that I was wearing a face mask and I tried to give you a hug. I think I can predict uh, your reaction. Uh, you'd step back very quickly. You'd probably shout at me or push me away. Maybe you'd cross over to the other side of the road to get away from me. What kind of reaction would you have if you felt threatened by someone who had coronavirus, a highly infectious disease? You wouldn't want contact with me. Well, for people suffering from leprosy in Jesus' day, that was the reality. There was no cure for it back then, and so people who had it were required to be in permanent, lifelong lockdown, in constant self-isolation. If they were walking around, they had to cry out, unclean, unclean. God's people had this really clear idea of being cleansed and of being unclean and a person with leprosy if they came into contact with you their uncleanliness would transfer to you and so you would be labeled unclean as well you would have to go and cleanse yourself before you could re-enter society uh, so imagine the scene when this man walks through the crowd to jesus I bet the crowd, you know, I bet it parted pretty quickly. There were probably shouts of anger and abuse. He had no right to do this, uh, to be this close to anyone, let alone the great teacher Jesus. And what a request he makes. Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. And so in that context... What happens next is completely astounding. Uh, we read in verse 3 that Jesus reached out his hand and he touched the man. I am willing, he said, be clean. And immediately he was, cl uh, he was cleansed from his leprosy. Then, Je then Jesus said to him, see that you don't tell anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest and offer the gift Moses commanded as a testimony to them. Now just think about that. Jesus touched him. I mean, who knows how long this man had been isolated from his family, from his friends, from the rest of society, no contact with anyone that he loved. But now Jesus touches the leper. He could have simply said the words, I am willing, be clean. But no, he did what no other person would do. He touched the untouchable. Do you see in that the, the kindness and the compassion that Jesus has for people who come to him? Let that draw you to Jesus. Uh, whatever you've said or done, 
whatever stigma the world has attached to you, if you come to Jesus and kneel before him, you will be met with that same compassion and kindness that this man found. But that is, of course, not the end of the encounter. Something remarkable happens. Instead of Jesus being made unclean by touching this man, the reverse happens and the man is cleansed. He's healed of his leprosy, but he's also cleansed. He can re-enter society. He can go straight to the temple at the place in Jesus' day where that symbolised God's presence. He's restored to God through Jesus. And that is what Jesus can do for each person that comes to him in faith, knowing that they need to be cleansed from sin. Through his death on the cross, Jesus cleanses sinners. The Apostle John writes this, that the blood of Jesus, God's Son, purifies us from all sin. We are cleansed from sin. So let me ask you, will you come to Jesus today? If you do, you will receive uh, with compassion and kindness uh, the cleansing that only Jesus can give. Cleansing from sin. Forgiveness. Let's pray as we reflect on that today. Our loving Heavenly Father, we thank you for the Lord Jesus Christ, that he touched the untouchable, that he looked on that man with compassion and kindness as he looks on us, and we pray that you would help us to come to him today, asking for his cleansing from our sin, and we pray this in his name. Amen. I hope you can join me tomorrow for more encounters with Jesus.